reposition there. Trevor, I know it's been kind of a, uh, a, a frustrating run, but you've obviously been facing some studs along the way. So I guess kind of what's this stretch been like for you? MMA, man, MMA. <laughs> um, I do believe I've been fighting some of the toughest guys. Um, I do believe a lot of my fights entering the UFC where I was supposed to get big wins, a lot of them fell off. And these guys are pulling out, so the UFC had no choice but just to throw me in the mix. That's what I believe. You know, I believe I'm supposed to have a lot more wins in the UFC. And a lot of those rematches that fell off, I asked for all of those fights, and they never wanted those fights. So this is what they want from me, so this is what they're getting from me. Well, now you're the one jumping in. I guess how did this uh, situation come about for you, this opportunity? Cody lost his opponent. Everyone is saying the UFC is trying to get you out of there, right? So... My manager hit me up. He said, Cody lost his point. Do you want me to throw your name in the mix? I said, go ahead. I didn't think anything of it. Coming off losses, Cody being a former champion. And now here we are. <laughs> Do you talk about that? Because Cody's had some challenges too, but obviously, as you said, a former champion, a very exciting fighter. So I don't know. Does this feel like a, a big fight for you to face a former champ? Absolutely. How many, how many UFC champions have they had? At 135, what, four? Max, so to get a chance to fight a former champion, like they probably got like 80 guys on a roster, 90 guys on a roster, they don't get to fight the former champion. So this is definitely a major fight for me. I love it. Last thing for me, I guess, what should we expect? Like you said, it's just kind of MMA, and you've been facing tough people. I mean, have there been any big changes in your game and your approach, or are you just kind of stick with what you've been doing and hope the results fall your way? No, I'm not hoping for anything. Um, <laughs> I'm prepared for this fight, you know, it was short notice. I've been training, I just had to get a lot of weight off. That's the only thing I was focused on, but I've been training. And I, I, I went to Fortis MMA now, so I'm hoping that's gonna be the difference. I went to Fortis MMA, I was there for a little bit, you know, got with coach, got a good game plan going, and I, I believe I'm ready for this fight. Trevin, over here, other side. Uh, you, you mentioned, like, obviously you weren't the original opponent for this, but when you slide into a fight, not necessarily last minute, but it's obviously not a full camp, do you prefer having that short, like, window so you don't have to, like, sit and dwell on the fight as long? You kind of just jump right into camp and then the fight happens? Um, I don't really have any thought on that, but my whole career has been short notice fights, you know, fighting out of Guam and not being tied to any organization. I always been the guy on the back end that had to take uh, late fights. So honestly, I got a lot of great results doing late fights, probably better than a long fight. So um, I looked at that like, okay, you actually do well with these late uh, three week notice fights. So I have maybe probably more than 10 three week notice fights, more than 12 three weeks notice fights. So I'm hoping this turns out just like those fights turned out. And I'm sure you've heard, like, after Cody's, like, recent run, his slide, like, oh, Cody's done, like, he has no chin, he just kind of rushes forward and this and that. Can you, do you just kind of put that out of your mind, uh, knowing, like, what he can do? You can't just, like, bank on what people are telling you he's probably going to do. Yeah, I'm not focusing on that. I'm focused on the best Cody. He doesn't want to lose just like I don't want to lose. So I'm not focused on any of that. I'm not focused on what people are saying. I'm only focused on myself, my game plan, and what I need to do to Cody to beat him. Um... Absolutely, I believe I have a lot of power, and if he gets uh, over aggressive with me, that I could lay that shot. I have to believe that. Um, I also believe he's going to try and wrestle me and take me down, so I'm also prepared for that, um, considering the way my last fight went. So I'm prepared for this guy, man. Um, yeah, he's a former champion or anything, but I'm always willing to put myself up to the task, and I'm ready for this fight. Over here, Trevin. Uh, you know, obviously, you're fighting on a, on a card uh, titled by John Jones, you know, one of the greatest of all time. Kind of curious your take on that fight and how you see it playing out. The main event? Yeah. Oh, man, Jones. Jones, like, you're, I'm a Jones, too. <laughs> so <coughs> there's also some favoritism there, Jones blood. So, um, but I think it's a nice matchup for Jones. This is his first time at heavyweight. Um, like everyone's saying, they're both very similar, but Jones has that wrestling gap. Um, that might be the difference if Jones can get him down and, 
And if you look at Jones too, um, I watch a lot of Jones stuff. He does have good jujitsu. When he gets caught at things, he knows how to maneuver there too. So um, Jones, ha Jones has a, a, a nice hidden talent and he has a lot of things I think he has in show too. Um, it's definitely a great fight to see how he moves at heavyweight. He's not going to be as faster, as quicker. Um, but Jones is Jones, man. Jones is the GOAT. He, I watch him beat so many high-level guys, and it's just hard to bet against Jones. Yeah, appreciate that. And speaking of betting, you know, you're not a massive underdog in this fight by any means, but you are an underdog. Kind of curious, you know, if you embrace that role and how you think uh, your chances actually play out on Saturday night. Um, honestly, before I pay attention to a lot of that or not, a lot of that stuff, but right now I'm not, I'm focused on just beating Cody Garbrandt right now. I'm not focused on any of the odds, anything like that. Um, most of my fights, like I said, I'm from Guam. Nobody knew me before I got here. The Asian side knew me and I was always underdog when I fought and I beat a lot of guys that I was underdog. Probably same thing like I was saying about the three week camps and the long camps. Um, favorite I've lost, underdog I win. Thanks, guys.